Every morning I have an appointment and the appointment is with my nine children and it is most certainly a divine appointment. This appointment causes me to grow in the grace and knowledge of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I really don't have anything more important going on. The Lord blesses me each day that I get to wake up to these precious faces and that I get to be their mama. So thank you so much for joining me today as I take you through a day in our lives. As a family of 11, we're going to be doing a lot of cooking and homeschooling and cleaning and eating. Also, I want to show you my new kitchen faucet that I recently got. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Did I ask you to like and subscribe yet? I would love to have you here. Let me show you what we're having for breakfast. It's some bacon and an energy ball and some apple bread that Lauren and I had made several nights ago. We made four loaves together. It's a really yummy and easy make ahead it's breakfast. Nice. No, make it. You make it? Yeah. Wow. Good job, baby. And here they are enjoying their breakfast this morning. But it was so nice that this breakfast was already prepared and everyone could just come to the bar and eat. Right now I am putting my kids toothbrush holder into the dishwasher because it can always use a good cleaning. I do want to show you this new faucet that I got because if you are in the market for one, this is the best faucet I have ever used, quite honestly. I sadly the one that we had in the house was it really leaked a lot internally. And so we had to get a new one and I am loving this one. So I'm going to link it below. Every morning I have my kids do four things. We talk about what the four things are quite often. And those four things are for them to open their curtains, get dressed, tidy their rooms, and make their beds. So that is what you see them doing here. They are just tidying up their rooms. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it is a quick tidy to start our day off in the right direction. I am going through the house with the vacuum. I am just vacuuming everywhere that I can because the dust really piles up very quickly. And I did want to tell you that if there are some things that you would like for your children to do in the mornings, give them a number. Like I, I have my kids do their four things, give them a number to help them remember and so that they can help you get your day started off right. This is how my children's rooms are looking after they did their four things this morning and they tidied up. It'll be a nice room for them to return to after school and they can enjoy playing. Like I say, it is not perfect. Um, Mary's really working on making that bed, but it will be a pleasant place for them to play later. Mark and Mary have been sorting the laundry in the mornings. David kind of takes care of the bar area after everyone ate breakfast. 
And then Sarah is just spending some sweet time with Anna while she brushes her hair. All right, it is time for us to get started on our school. My children will always start with their math workbooks. It's something that they can get started on quickly um, with or without my presence. And so they will often just get going on that straight away and they will see what they can do until I come in there with them. You can see the toddler back there. She will often use one of the children's old math books that they have already completed and she will write on it as best she can um, because it it helps her feel like she's doing what we're doing and she's not ruining something that we need to use. But that is a really good way to involve your two-year-old or toddler um, so that they feel like, you know, she's getting a real math book. And so that is important to her that hers looks like the other kids and that will keep her occupied so that you can do what you need to do. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we do grading in our home school. For my youngest seven children who are 10 and under, we will well, I will grade their lessons, sort of. And what I mean by that is I will look at them and I will put an X on the ones that are wrong. And I will basically just say, you know, minus two or minus four. And then I will have them do corrections. So I don't really give a grade, but I do want to make sure that they know they know what their progress is and they know what they need to work on so we will do that and then i will grade i will give them a a grade on their quizzes and on their tests so each workbook has two quizzes and one test and I will grade those and then I will average those to give them a grade on their books. And that is really, that is really useful because it honestly helps your child to know where they're at and it does help them to see that they are working towards something. So it is good, you know, like I say, I don't do a lot of grading. I don't do, I don't do the same kind of grading as you might find in public school, but we do do some grading and I, and I know that it is really important for their success. Now, while my kids are still working on their school, I'm going to get some chicken started for dinner. I am just putting some chicken thighs in my Dutch oven. Nothing else is in there. I'm going to turn it up to about five or six to get it hot. And then I'm gonna turn it to low and it's just gonna sit there for a few hours because I really just need some shredded chicken because tonight I am making chicken taquitos and I've been making these for about 10 years in our family now. They are certainly a favorite and I will link that recipe below. You saw my rolls there. I um, 
My husband really likes for me to have homemade rolls on the counter. It help, It actually helps us to... Um, it helps us to save money because it's a great snack and it is a cheap, is a cheap snack. <laughs> All right, Anna, baby Anna went down for a nap and I am going to prep another dinner right now. This dinner is some buttermilk roasted chicken. I will leave the recipe below. My family has been eating this one for a long time as well. And it is a very simple recipe and delicious. And so um, it is very simple, but it is best to get it going the day before, which is actually great because I love to get dinners ready the day before instead of the day of. So. Lauren's helping me. She does love to be a part of what I'm doing. And so I really try to include her in every way, especially because when you have another baby, it can be a little hard for the toddler. And so I want her to know that I have not forgotten her. So she's sitting on the counter with me and I am making sure to include her. I let her, you saw I let her pour some of the salt onto the chicken because that is something that she can do to contribute to the meal. And as you can see, homeschool is still ongoing. They just sit there in the dining room and they come to me with their questions after they have tried to do it themselves. That way I can keep us moving forward with all the other things while we're doing our homeschooling. I'm going to put some parsley on my chicken thighs here. If you have some fresh parsley, that would be delicious, but I'm just using the dried stuff today. Now I am putting a good amount of minced garlic on the chicken thighs and I'm also going to pour some buttermilk over them and I'm going to put the lids on these pans and just let these chicken thighs soak overnight and then I will roast them tomorrow. Now Lauren really needed to go outside before her nap. And so I took her out there for a little bit. She had a really great time. It wasn't super cold today and it had rained, but it was not currently raining. So I was able to take her on a little walk on the, in the cul-de-sac and we saw the cows and she got to ride her little car. And so that was what we did before nap time. I also had an animal come and destroy my porch plant. So I threw that away. All right, so for lunch, the kids were just kind of in the mood for some PBJs, so 
that's what we did while we finished up school and Lauren's eating a little bit of ham and some of them had a homemade roll with butter and jelly on it so easy and school is just always happening amidst the rest of our day My two little girls usually unload the dishwasher in the afternoons. They feel so purpose-filled when they do this. And I try to keep the dishes low so that they can do it. I do help them with the glass and things that are up high, but they do such a great job with this and they are five and three and this helps our family so much all right it is time for my little boys to read to me and they're gonna do that on the kitchen counter so that i can keep preparing for dinner i call them my little boys but they are certainly getting older they are now eight and six and I guess I just call them my little boys because my oldest son is 12 and so they are the little boys I'm going to shred up this chicken while David reads to me Anna woke up from her nap and so I grabbed her and it was time for her to spend a little time with me and have her milk. She played for a little bit on the couch while I read my de daily devotional book which is called Thine is My Heart and I am really enjoying that book. I told you a bit more about it in my thank you video that I will link. But it is not too late to get started on that if you would like to read that this year. Alright, it's time to get a little more serious about dinner. In my bowl, I have my shredded chicken, some chopped spinach, salsa, sour cream, cream cheese, and I'm going to shred some cheese to put in there too. This is going to be the filling for my taquitos that I'm going to make, and I will link the recipe. This is a really really delicious dinner um, and it is nice because you can make this this taquito filling ahead of time if if that is better for you you can make the filling and then you can fill your tortillas and cook them the day that you want to have them so this is a really great dinner option i think i probably made too much <laughs> but i i do that a lot of times sometimes intentionally sometimes on accident but it usually works out just fine because we eat a lot in this house I have been doing some baby led weaning with Anna. She has been very interested in food lately. You can kind of see her arms flapping. She is hoping for a little taste. And so I will just give her little 
tastes of things throughout the day. Um, I'm gonna give her a little, little, little slice of cheese there. And I have also given her some apple slices with the peel on because with the peel on, she can hold it easily without it slipping and she really enjoys that. It's kind of like a toy and some food for her. But you can see she's eating that little, little slither of cheese I gave her. And she's learning and kind of checking out the texture of it. But I will also just give her um, like a lot of times if we are eating dinner, if there is a pasta sauce, a spaghetti sauce, or uh, maybe a little beans, like refried beans, I will just dip my finger in it and let her have a taste. And that will actually keep them from getting constipated. Um, which is a common problem when you first start in introducing solids. So I, I often just use my finger to give her a little taste of whatever it is we're having. It gets her used to the food that our family eats. In my experience, I have found children to be less picky because I have gotten them used to the foods that we eat very early on. Now I do want to show you how these are made because it can be really helpful just to see it done. I'm going to grab a spoonful of the filling. I probably do fill mine more than a lot of people would or the, you know, more than the instructions say. I don't really roll mine up tightly. I kind of just bring the two sides together and then place it into about an inch of the hot oil and that will basically press those seams together. It'll kind of seal it so that your taco stays together and you don't have a bunch of floating food in your skillet. So look, I actually messed that one up. I turned it over too soon. It had not quite sealed. I was really trying to impress y'all probably <laughs> I did want to tell you that I am using extra light tasting olive oil in my skillet which is different from the from the recipe Here is the taquitos with some refried beans and guacamole and chips. Our family really enjoyed it. After dinner, me and Lauren made some cornbread just to help us keep staying ahead. And then Anna is eating her little apple slice there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will subscribe and stick around. I would love for you to comment on what you enjoyed most about this video. And I just appreciate you being here so much. I hope that you will watch more videos and comment anything that you would like for me to know or do. And I will see you soon.